Okay. Yeah, I'm Johan uh, Edansson. <laughs> I come from uh, Velav, and uh, I will talk about a few of the things you see in this picture. I will talk about the van. I will talk about this uh, this bike, which is called the Armadillo. I will talk about the the box that's on top of it, which we call the city container, and I will also talk a little bit about the courier that is, is uh, driving the, the armadillo. Since we launched the, uh, did you hear what I started out with? Because now it's much louder. Well, let's hope so. Uh, start out with the bike. I will not talk too much about that, um, but these are some of the responses that we have got when we launched it two years ago. Let's just give you a second to take that in. Uh, but I will not talk so much about the bike today. I will focus on the box. So, uh, and there we go. But we need a problem before I can talk about that. And the problem is that we see this in a lot of uh, European cities, well, cities all over the world, actually, that we have vans congesting the uh, city centers. And they are delivering really small stuff, like from 50 grams to, to 5 kilos, and it's always vans. So is that, is that a smart solution to deliver so small stuff with a big vehicle like that? We are uh, quite positive that it's not. We think a small vehicle is much smarter to deliver small goods. Uh, you get double the productivity, get twice as many parcels out per hour, uh, at half the total cost of ownership. And it's really, really resource and energy efficient. It's not about percentage here. It's 15 times more energy and resource efficient than an electric van. And if we compare that with a um, combustion engine van, that is the difference is even bigger. And as long as we don't have, I know many of you are working to get the uh, electricity mix to 100% renewable, but uh, I don't think we will see it in the in the. Um, well, in a couple of decades, and until it's not 100%, then energy efficiency is really important, and also in the last mile delivery sector. And we also free up the space, we eliminate the noise, uh, no emissions to air, and that's including the um, tire wear, the road wear, and the brake pad wear that you still have in, in bigger electric vehicles. The traffic safety is improved, and you also have a better social connectivity because this courier is a face that's traveling and communicating with the, the surrounding city. It's not a vehicle that is just passing by. But still, we see the vans. Even if all, uh, we see that the small vehicle have all these advantages, we just see the vans. So why is that? Well, we think the, the answer is it's just too costly, too risky, and too difficult to transfer the goods from the big vehicle to the small because you do need a big vehicle to get the stuff into the city center. And to do that transfer of the goods to the small vehicle, well, it's, it's just too, it takes too much time, too expensive. So how to solve that? Well, we took a look at this. Um, you can borrow solutions, right? Uh, and the containerization of the shipping industry has really transformed that. Uh, crazy efficiency gains and also improvements in, in security. Uh, when they switch to containerization. So why not scale that down and do the same for city logistics? And this is what we have done. And you, as you can see, we have a good first customer uh, to do it. And this is now a proven concept in Utrecht and in Frankfurt. And we will continue to roll this out. And we are developing the container itself to be of standardized dimension, to have standardized anchoring, we make it trackable, of course, so the customer, uh, well, all the, the goods owner know where the goods are. And if it's uh, in good shape, we can track the temperature, uh, for example, as well with sensors. And consolidation is a popular thing for cities to do. You know, you, you want less trucks in advance in a city center. So they come to one place and you resort everything and put them in, in vehicles that are more city friendly. But this comes at a cost. You need to have personnel to do all the resorting and you also introduce a risk of, of damaging or losing goods. So if we s instead just snap on the containers right on because they're already sorted, um, snap them on the vehicle, then you take that cost out. And of course the container, if it's standardized, 
then it's also automation ready and ready for autonomous vehicles as well, even if I do prefer the, the courier. So we are looking for investors who can and want to help us out to containerize city logistics and get uh, huge uh, energy efficiency gains. Thank you.